Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Stadium 2. I don't think this is gonna come to a surprise to anyone. Or come as a surprise. I, I don't know how the phrase goes, but we're gonna go back to the Gym Leader Castle and today we're going to go do the Blackthorn Gym with Claire. So we've got three battles coming up and of course we're going to be using our Pokemon Crystal Team once again. Like I said before, we plan to use them for the entire Gym Leader Castle. And well, this is the final battle, Gym number eight. And my capture card just crashed. Gosh dang it. Man, that's gotta be some kind of record. I think that's the quickest crash we've had yet. But we're back and it looks like we're gonna go fight quite a few grass Pokemon and a couple normals. So we're gonna start off with Vesta. We'll bring Tuix along as well and might as well bring Nox. Let's go! This is it, the final gym. Awaiting the challenger are the members of Blackthorn Gym. The first battler is Gloria, a cool trainer. Oh crud, just how cool is she? This is not even the ice gym, come on man. They kind of missed that opportunity. They could have had the cool trainers be in the ice gym, but I guess they had skiers and stuff like that instead. I guess that's fine. So she's gonna start with a Clefairy right here, which actually has more HP than Vesta does. We'll go for that flamethrower and see how we do. But yeah, like the announcer was saying, the final gym right here, gym number eight. So once we beat this one, I guess that's it. We can go back and do the master ball section of the, uh, Stadium, and we still have to do two different sections of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Earl's Pokemon Academy as well. So I haven't forgot about that. We'll definitely be doing that too. But yeah, let's finish up these battles here first. Now, it looks like we are going to two-shot this Clefairy, which is awesome. It's because it did a little bit of damage right there. I actually... Whoa, it didn't kill it. What the crud? I must be terrible at math. I don't know. Oh, and they're going for Sing. But yeah, I wasn't paying that good of attention, so I don't know if their first attack was just some attack they happened to have, or if it was from Metronome, but thankfully their Sing misses, so we can just go ahead and hit him with that flamethrower. Kind of unfortunate we didn't two-shot, but you know what, we'll take it, we'll get a three-shot. It didn't really matter in the end because the Sing missed, so it's not much different. The only difference is I have one less flamethrower PP, and I don't think that's gonna matter, like, at all. So, Oddish, okay. Oddish, I think, will be even easier to deal with. I mean, the worst Pokemon she could bring, in terms of, like, what's going to be hard for me, would be Clefairy and Jigglypuff, and even those are going to be super easy. So, this first battle, yeah, it's going to be kind of a joke. Will we one-shot? Oh, yeah. Not a big surprise to one-shot an Oddish, but we got one Pokemon to go. There's really nothing she could bring out that would probably be a challenge for even Vesta, so I guess we're having yet another battle where I'm just spamming one move. And yep, it's gonna be Venonat, so I think that's something I'll one-shot right here as well. So that's her final Pokemon, Venonat! So big! It always throws me off how big that guy is. Kind of like the same size or even a little bit bigger than Vesta, depending on how you look at it. But down goes Venonat, or Veno- Venonets! Ark, I misplayed that! One damage off lethal. Take that! Gloria. So, first battle down, just two more to go, and we'll completely wrap up the Gym Leader Castle. I lost because of that one move. That has to be it. You know, she could be right. Maybe if she got that Sing to land, it would have done a lot more to my team. I don't think she would have won, but who knows, man. Maybe she would have taken down Vesta. Wow. Okay, battle number two. Go around with me before you shoot for the top. Hmm. And he's got all of the starter Pokemon. It, when this game came out, that was pretty much it. Technically, Pikachu's the starter in Pokemon Yellow, but aside from that, these are all of the starter Pokemon that exist. I think I'll go ahead and bring along Pooh to start right here, and I'll also bring along Tuix and Arthur. Let's go. The next opponent is Cool Trainer, Vin. He's certain to be a tough opponent. Okay, well, we're on battle number two. Out goes Foo, and out comes... Okay, Charmander. So I was kind of hoping for that, because I could just go ahead and use Earthquake. So we could pretty easily wreck Charmander. We could have wrecked Cyndaquil as well. I think that Bulbasaur might be weak to Earthquake too. Oh, wow, he gets a critical with that Flamethrower. That actually sucks. Okay, so he is the Charmaster. Okay, but we're gonna Earthquake this guy. He should die. And he does, good. Whew, okay, just two Pokemon to go. But if it's a Pokemon that's faster than Pooh, I'm probably going to die. I don't know who would be faster than me. Maybe Chikorita or maybe Cyndaquil. I don't think that... Tur uh, I don't think that Squirtle would be. Maybe Totodile will be. I'll go try for return. Hopefully we live. And we do go first. Take that, Totodile. I don't know if we'll one-shot this guy. Let's see, not quite. And he's gonna go for Surf. 
Now, I might survive unless he gets another critical, but it's going to be close. And yet we do survive with the best number of HP, 15 HP in reserve. So we'll go hit this guy with a second return. And now we just have to deal with one more Pokemon here. Can we get another sweep this time with a poo? A, a poo sweep? My toe toaster! You need to not be toasting your toes, man. That's just disgusting. Oh man, I would hate to be the person who has to clean the crumb tray out of that toaster after your toes have been in there, man. Okay, so he's going for Chikorita. I'm gonna go for return. He might be faster. He is. And that's probably death right there. But I think I brought 2x, right? So I can just do some fly. I mean, I could even just send out Arthur and use Ice Beam. Either one of those will be fine. So we'll start off with 2x. And with this guy, yeah, we'll just go right up and use fly. And hopefully he doesn't have like a stun spore. Okay, we get to go first. Yeah, that would have been kind of annoying. I don't think there's much he could do to like defeat my, my Zatu. But if he went first, got a body slam, got to paralyze or use the stun spore, something like that. That could be annoying. And now that I think about it, I don't even know if Chikorita learns Stun Spore. I know Bulbasaur does. Well, actually, does Bulbasaur? I'm pretty sure he does. But alright, we're not going to one-shot this guy. They go for the Body Slam. Please no Paralyze. And we get Paralyzed. Because of that, I think I'm going to go for uh, Psychic instead of Fly. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill. But I don't want to have to get through two turns of Paralysis just to attack the guy. Well, he's gonna start chipping away at me. Please get through. No! Let's try a second time. Come on, Tuix. You can get through. He gets a critical. Don't get stuck. Okay, we get through. So we just have to kill him. If we don't, then we're dead. And okay, we got him. I mean, I, I don't want to play up the, the anxiety or the pressure too much, man, because Arthur would have dealt with it just fine, but we did almost lose two hits right there okay the two easy battles are down let's go move on to the gym leader and have the one true final battle i'm sorry i took you for granted i'm not a I'm not a gosh dang rock dude blackthorn gym battle leader so you're aiming for the top well we'll just see about that and as you can see she's got a pretty good team her only pokemon that's not fully evolved is her dragonair so it's not a dragonite but still pretty scary here so I think I'm going to go ahead and start with Arthur. He'll be good against a few things here. But I also want to bring along that... Hmm. Definitely Pooh, because he's good. At, he's got his Ice Attack for Dragonair. He's got Earthquake for Ampharos and Arcanine and Rhydon. I kind of want to bring Nox, but I'm worried about Arcanine. But then I kind of want to bring Tuix, but I'm worried about Ampharos. And maybe Lapras or Kingdra or even Dragonair could have uh, some kind of Ice Attack. Rhydon could have Rock. I think Nox is a little bit safer. So Arthur, Pooh, and Nox. Wish me luck. The challenger has finally made it to the final gym leader, Flare of Blackthorn Gym. Let's see if the challenger can snatch victory from the ferocious dragon Pokemon. All right, starting off Arthur versus Kingdra. I was not expecting that, but we're going to go directly for that Ice Beam. Now, I'm hoping they don't have Dragon Breath because that will be super effective. Gosh dang it. And I didn't get paralyzed, so that's good. And it did not do half, so... We could survive again and just hope we don't get paralyzed next time. We're going to go for our own Ice Beam, but it's only going to do a little tiny chunk. I was really worried about Kingdra. Kingdra is going to be super hard for my team to deal with because I don't have any dragon attacks. So again, we could survive this. Got to hope we don't get paralyzed. And let's see. And okay. Wow. One damage off lethal. Let's go. If we get lucky, we can freeze the guy. If we don't get that, then, well, we're basically dead here. So yeah, unfortunately, Arthur is going down. Well, I think I'm going to go over to Pooh and use some return. I, maybe I should have used Nox and just exploded on this guy, but yeah, well. So what I think I'm going to do is use Pooh, try to take down Kingdra, and then have Nox explode on whatever Pokemon number two is, and then have Pooh try to finish off the third Pokemon. Oh, but he's got Hydro Pump, dude. That could hurt. Please miss. I need a miss right now. It's not going to miss. That's going to do a lot of damage. In fact, if we don't kill him here or if he doesn't miss next turn, yeah, that's bad. Oh, and he survives with just seven, dude. Okay, so we have to get a miss right now. I might have to redo this gym, actually. So don't miss. Actually, don't. Do miss. Do miss. And yes. Yes. Holy crud. Huh. Well, so down goes Kingdra. This is not looking good, though. What I really want to happen is he sends out Arcanine. Somehow we don't die, and then I kill him with one Earthquake. Then we swap over to Nox and explode on the last Pokemon. Please, please just let that be the thing that happens. You know what? Rhydon, that could work as well. Earthquake might work here, and I think Pooh might be faster. Yes! 
So if we kill this guy, we can swap the Nox and finish off this crud unless he's got Arcanine in the back, which would be very scary. And we get a critical, dude! That still didn't kill him. What the crud? That still didn't kill this guy. Please survive. Gosh dang it. Well, there goes my explosion plan. So we're gonna have to have Nox kill off this Rhydon by himself, which shouldn't be that bad. But then we have to hope he does not have Arcanine in the back. If he has like... Jeez, what would even be all right? Maybe Lapras would be okay? I, I don't know. Well, let's go for hidden power. Gosh dang it, dude. I can't believe that critical didn't kill. Always got dynamic punch. Please miss, please. And it misses, good, good, good. So down goes Rhydon. Really, really need you to pull through on this one, Nox. Come on, man. We got that guy. One Pokemon to go. If it's Arcanine, I think we just straight up lose. We can't explode at this point. If we explode, we automatically lose as well. Oh man, it is Lapras. Okay, so maybe there's hope. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. Is Lapras part ice? Because if they are, then oh gosh, they've got Surf. Well, if it's neutral, if if they're part ice, then my hidden power should be neutral. That does so much damage, though. Yeah, there's no hope, guys. We're gonna have to redo this crud. No. Yeah, good job, Nox. You did lots of damage, dude. It's so painful that we don't get any continues on this, so I have to go ahead and run through this whole thing again. I'll be right back, I guess. Yeah, I think I should have swapped over to Nox and exploded on the Kingdra right at the start. Although I might not have been able to do that because he would have just killed me before I got a chance. It's it's a tough one, man. Let's try again. All right, we're back here again. Now this time, I'm going to start with Nox. If they send out Kingdra, I'm just going to explode on them. And also, I'm going to bring Arthur again, but I'm going to bring Rita instead of Pooh because, well, Pooh was kind of underwhelming against that Rhydon, and I think Arthur can deal with Arcanine, so... Yeah, let's, let's try that. Claire of Blackthorn Gym. Her ferocious dragon Pokemon, like Kingdra. All right, so our plan worked out perfectly. As long as they don't one-shot us, we can now explode on this nerd. So what do they go for? They do go for Hydro Pump. We could get unlucky. Maybe they'll critical hit me, or maybe, maybe they can just one-shot me. Or they'll miss completely. Okay, so the Kingdra, the thing I was worried about, Nox can hopefully just completely take them out of the picture. And it looks like they can. So we get to trade Nox for Kingdra. I hate that Nox has turned into just like an explosion machine, but it is extremely handy when you have these Pokemon that your team is just not that good at dealing with to be able to choose to just pull them out of the battle, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Arthur next because there's the potential of Arcanine, you know? I can deal with uh, the other stuff with uh, Arthur pretty well. He might just go right to Rhydon again, which would be totally fine for Arthur too. Oh, he has Lapras, or she has Lapras. Uh, yeah, I probably want to go over to Rita then. Let's do that. Hopefully they don't have an ice attack. I'll probably put up a defense boost here. They do have Ice Beam, you crutter! Okay, that sucks. And it does more than half. Beautiful. Just wonderful, man. I'll go ahead and put up the light screen, but I'm I'm dead. I can't deal with this stinking Lapras, dude. Hey, the light screen actually allowed me to survive for one turn. That's cool. So let's go, I guess, just for Razor Leaf. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a crit. Maybe I should have gone for Body Slam for the potential paralysis. I don't know, man. Oh, the stinking... It's like I can deal with Kingdra or Lapras, but I can't deal with both of them that well. So down goes Rita. I don't know if Kingdra can deal with this crud. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, stuff we put out there will help. 30 damage. <laughs> That's not much. Oh, they have got Dragon Breath. Of course they do. How the crud am I going to win this gym battle, man? And they get a critical. Are you kidding me? Dude, I actually don't know how my team is going to manage to defeat Claire. We're alive with 9 HP. Okay, here's how we win. If we get a critical hit on my Surf right now, Lapras will die. If they happen to have a Rhydon in the back and I go first, I can one-shot him. So if this criticals, I could win. So let's see if it works. Come on, game. Let this be a critical hit. Please. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. And... No. Not gonna happen. No, dude. The double defeat. No. All right, guys. This might be a bit unsatisfying to end the episode before we defeat Claire, but I want to do something I think it'll actually be kind of fun. And hey, it'll help me out because I'm not doing so well. I'm kind of blanking. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm gonna go show you guys all of my team stats, all of my movesets, all that stuff. And I want you guys to post in the comments what you think might work as a plan to defeat this gym leader. So we've got this guy. We've got this guy, and we've got some Rita, and we've got some Nox. Over here, we've got some Tuix and some Arthur. 
So we know they've got Lapras, which they love to bring, which has Ice Beam, Surf, and it has uh, Dragon Breath. We've seen that they have King Joe, which they like to start with, which they not they won't necessarily always start with that, but they might. And that one also has Dragon Breath. I think it probably has water. It has Hydro Pump, and they usually bring Rhydon, but we don't know for sure that they will. So you've seen the team that they had that they could choose from. You've seen some of their moves. Definitely, guys, that'd be fun. Brainstorm an idea. How do you think we can beat this gym? We'll come back next time. We'll beat them, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have just one battle next episode. We'll move on and do what I plan to do next episode, anyways. We'll just have a bit of a bigger episode next time. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.